Thank you very much. Yes, um, uh, up to now, it has be, we, many people talk about food. So I'm not talking about food, but there is connection with what I will be talking, uh, especially two connections. One is that I started my shiatsu path, started with macrobiotics, so with food, 30 years ago. 13, not 13, 30. Um, the other connection is that both go to the have the same goal, which is health. So we are always talking about health. We are in a society where we have to go to school to learn how to eat, to learn how to breathe, to learn how to walk, to learn everything that would be, should be natural for us but it's not anymore. Anyway, let's go to shiatsu. Shiatsu. Mm. Shi means finger in Japanese, and atsu pressure. So shiatsu is mainly pressure made with fingers, but not only fingers, we use also hands, knees, uh, elbows and knees, but mainly hands. And Fingers, but mainly thumbs. Anyway, um, pressure is um, something that we get since we are conceived. Uh, in the womb, we get pressure from the amniotic liquid. And this pressure is vital to the growth of the embryo, of the fetus, every day of the nine months. When we are born, we get pressure from the atmosphere. So pressure is something that we, need, we get constantly. And um, touch, which is pressure, which is um, body pressure anyway, is uh, very, very important for health. First of all, let's talk about physical contact. The best thing that uh, the most beautiful and natural thing that two persons can do is physical touch, physical contact. Seen as the opening of the heart. And this has a particular meaning. When we are an embryo, our arms and our hands grow literally from our heart. So when we say that we do shiatsu with our heart, it's not just like, you know, saying something funny. It's true, it's real. You can prove it when you embrace someone, when you hug a friend, you embrace him with arms, with hands, but also with your heart and it's physiological. Um, physical contact is very, very important for the growth, and many studies have proved, finally, that it is important. Um, it is important for a child to get, since the, uh, since the first day of his life, to get physical contact. If a child is not touched properly by the mother, he will get a trauma that will, will carry on all over his life. But not only for a child, but also for adults, physical contact is very, very important. If you don't get touched enough, and if we don't touch enough, we can get some problems, some uh, symptoms and no doctor will ever make this connection, of course. Um, physical, uh, physical contact is um, normally in our society is seen in two extremes. So either sexual contact or a contact coming from um, battle, so, so something to, uh, to contrast. So, sex 
and war. But between these two extremes, there are many, many situations in which we can get and should get physical contact. We, say, we talked about the contact of the mother with her child, the, to be the hug with friends, and also the contact in a crowded situation, for instance, a, a bus or whatever. But may, not many of us understand the real importance of touching and being touched. And this comes also from our upbringing, from, our, from the religion also, because physical contact is banned from, the, at least from um, Catholic religion, is sin. I have to say something that I didn't say before about pressure. Since I'm talking of shiatsu, the pressure in shiatsu is not made with physical, uh, with muscular strength, but with the body weight, which means that the practitioner don't, doesn't get tired, and since shiatsu is made on the floor, made original shiatsu is made on the floor, and also here mainly is made on, made on the floor, the practitioner using all his body and moving around the receiver gets benefits also from this movement. And so also the practitioner gets benefits, not only the receiver. Okay, like a hug, the hug between mom and pop, this also. Uh, um, Animals also use licking for physical contact. We don't do it anymore. Well, sometimes we do. <laughs> but not this way, anyway, in different ways. But for animals, licking is really the physical contact that allows the puppies to grow healthily. Okay. And this is mother and child. Oh, energetic balance. Okay. Um, so the pressure in shiatsu is made on lines that go along the surface of our body, which are called meridians, which are the same as acupuncture. So we don't use needle, we use your ha our hands. Um, these, uh, in these lines, in these meridians, flow the vital energy. The energy that, uh, if it flows freely, can go to nourish all parts of our body. But sometimes this flow is stuck. Let's make an example. Let's imagine a river. The water flows freely. But if a, a, a rock, a big rock, falls on the river, it blocks the flow of the water. So above the block, there is the, the, the stone or whatever, there is water stagnant. Underneath, there is no water or a little water. The stagnant water becomes poisoning, becomes um, Poison. And the same thing happens with energy, with the flow of energy. If something blocks, stops the flow, the free flow of energy in our body, we start to feel some symptoms, some, some headache, some little pain. And if this is not removed, we can go on, especially if we take pills to, for the headache, pills for the other pains of the body. Cause is not removed and it will uh, go to diseases, real diseases. Shiatsu has the goal of removing 
this st uh, energy stuck. So, so it, with the pressure on the part of the body where the energy is stuck, this blockage is released. The energy flows again, the symptoms disappear, and there will be no disease. So in this way, shiatsu can be considered the best way of preventing diseases. Many of us are more or less dissociated. What is dissociation? Is the cut between the mind and the body. Um, so, it's long to understand and to explain why this happened and why this happens. It will take time, but this is a, a real thing. We are more or less all dissociated, especially now with these technologies. We are, um, we tend to use too much our brain and to forget our body. So, if there is no connection between head, uh, between mind and body, we don't understand the signs that the body gives us. The body tells us many things. It gives us um, good, very good, very clear uh, warnings about his, its state. But often we don't listen to it. We get a pain, we go to a doctor, he gives a, give us a pill. That's the way usually things go. This is not um, a cure because the cause is still there. <coughs> Shiatsu has also the big uh, result, gives also the big result of giving us the awareness of our body. When someone touches you with his hands in a proper way with Shiatsu, you get aware of your body. You understand what your body, for instance, oh, it's painful there, what is it? Oh, that's the meridian, uh, that's a um, large intestine meridian. Intestine? Oh, that's true, my intestine is not going well. That's a very simple example, but things go like that. This is verbal communication, but there is also nonverbal, and we see nonverbal communication, oh my dear, I don't have much time. Go ahead. <laughs> Nonverbal communication, and, the, and here you can see how often we don't really understand properly what our mother, our sister, our brother tells us. Because we are, uh, our mind is not free, we have a lot of ideas, conviction, and uh, beliefs, and so on, so we have a filter. So language is what we have to communicate, it's not that we have to avoid it, we have to use it, but it's not a perfect way of communication. While shiatsu is a perfect way of communication because it has no distortion, no misunderstanding, it's a real direct communication, body to body. To achieve uh, spiritual development also, uh, this is also something that is not seen in our society. And we have to learn from Eastern, Eastern uh, philosophy. Uh, in, in Eastern philosophy, the body is the tool for spiritual development. What, meanwhile, why here is an obstacle for spiritual development. Uh, prevention of diseases we have talked about, healing power, I mean, it is a real healing power. I have seven seconds, six, um, that's why shiatsu is so important. Thank you. <laughs>